uh, Hawaiians very unique is because when it comes to the land, everything, you know, there's a chant for, you know, every rain, every plant life, um, and even to the, the different deities, uh, there's always this respect and honor that everything matters. I don't know where else in the world you'll have that connection while at the same time when you get the opportunity to work the aina, like work in the, the lo'i, you are touching that. You know, you're you're touching that element. You're you are connecting very spiritually with um, with that element. Mm -hmm. And that is very, very powerful and um and something that our people have have always you know fought for mm -hmm. advocated for, yes, but I think you know we are uh, entering a new um, world we're entering a new time um, where it's become more critical to to really advocate. For the, you know, the um, uh, the stewardship of our lands, um, and it's really important that everyone else gets gets on board mm -hmm. to to really understand that our people need that validation, you know, in order to to prosper and thrive. Uh, we need to allow our people to touch, to have access to to the ocean, to, you know. Um, and it's funny because even though I grew up on Molokai, there's a lot of places that I've never been, you know. And I think each child, if you're from Hawaii, you have an obligation to be able to access every part of the island that you come from. You need to learn of all the mo'olelo, all of all of the, you know, the, the ali'i. And this is before, you know, our monarchy, um, hundreds of years of stories, of, you know, of responsibilities of, you know, could you imagine? I mean, how many ahupua'a are on this very island? But then if you cover those stories, if you block those stories, you know, it's as if, it's as if, you know, your body, you have your blood flowing you and you have, or you have tension, you have blockage, you know, it's like your chi, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to unblock those in order to flow, in order to have a prosperous life. And, you know, we deal with, with a lot of unnecessary, you know, things in life that come and distract. But, you know, if we stay connected to, to the land and to people who, who carry that same, you know, love and, and understanding, um, I think we're going to be okay. And I'm very grateful for you, Alan, to be a uh, spokesperson and ambassador for Hawaii in, you know, in the capacity that you have, because in, it, you don't have to be Hawaiian in order to, you know, share your love for a culture, you know, um, you just have to have the heart. This island, the people have given so much to me. And I think it would be a huge responsibility not to hold it in the highest esteem when, when I'm outside of Hawaii. I often share that uh, Hawaii is a very special place, and people say, yeah, every place is special to the people who live there. But until you've worked in Aloha and connected with the land, mm -hmm. or been on uh, Poilo or uh, Bokulea, mm -hmm. and when the wind catches the sail, uh, or the sail catches the wind, and the canoe takes off, there's a certain magic to it. An experience that you know you cannot live through AI or through YouTube. Or okay, yeah. You have to be there. You have to be there. You have to feel it, and that visceral uh, connection. It's not 
necessarily intellectual, it's deep in the soul. Mm. And I think that's what Hawaii means to me. It's so special. And I think uh, for folks like you, you know, thank you for calling me an ambassador. I don't think I'm worthy of that title. But, you know, I think uh, for folks like you who uh, have committed your entire life uh, in various ways in educating, teaching, and, and sharing uh, stories through your, your music, uh, I think it's wonderful. And uh, it's a great thing. Thank you for having me. That was, that was awesome.